I've always wanted a twin inch go-kart. We just have to throw the whole idea out. Is that it? In this video, we got a bunch of upgrades to restore our old go-kart. The biggest upgrade we got is a Predator 224. And look at all these features, Kyson. Actually, let's just... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's not really a feature. There that's... we go, it's much better. Okay, so we got the Murray up on the sawhorses. We're gonna take the old Tecumseh motor and put hammerheads Predator 212 onto the Murray. We're gonna test fit to see if we can fit a 224. If the 212 fits on here, then the 224 should fit. Okay, Kyson, why are we getting rid of the Tecumseh? This engine is hard to start sometimes and you know, it's a little underpowered. It's 196 cc. We'll get a little bit more torque from a 224 cc. We just want to get a fresh start with the new engine. This also leaks when it wants to start. Not fun when your engine keeps paying itself. All right, we got the engine off. This thing has not had a real good cleaning in years, and we've also driven it quite a bit. Here is its old engine. We'll give it some good, good need at rest. It's been wanting for a long time. Now, next step, get that Predator 212 on the Murray. I can't wait. It is funny to think about. If we put the Predator on there and it doesn't fit, we have to scrap the thing. Oh. <laughs> Boom, there we go. This is a very cool shot right here. Unreliability, reliability. Harbor freight, not harbor freight. <laughs> we got it lined up now. What do you think, Kyson? Does that, does that fit? I, I think it fits. Yeah! When we do upgrades to 224 though, we will have to look for a different exhaust because it goes right into the roll bar. I'm happy. It fits. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. I think it's time then. Yeah, it's time. Let's go to harbor freight. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? All right guys, we're here at Harbor Freight. It is currently the spring Black Friday, so it's pretty busy in there. Yeah. Fingers crossed we can actually get this engine and we're gonna get tires while we're here today. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. There it is, Harbor Freight. That's what we're getting. Maybe, Maybe in the future, we can get another good car like this engine. I don't know, Kyson, I think we should just skip it and just get that one, what do you think? I'm down. Down? Yeah, okay. Tires acquired. There he goes. To pick up this new engine for the Murray. There he is. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Slightly <laughs> awkward. <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey, we got it. All right, that's going to be fun to take out. <laughs> okay, just like you need to refill a go kart, we got to refill ourselves with some Chipotle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's get unboxing. This is a really monumental moment for us because I remember when we bought the 212 for Hammerhead, we didn't even think about making a YouTube channel yet. Yeah. So like this is this is kind of pretty yeah. big. Like this is the first time we're unboxing an engine on this channel. Uh -huh. Hopefully, <clears throat> Harbor Freight. Uh, <laughs> this isn't the last time we're unboxing an engine on this channel. I mean, love to test them out. <laughs> Are you ready, Kyson? I'm ready. Let's let's do this. Yeah. Owner's manual. Paperwork. Let's go. <laughs> See it. There it is. That's it comes a little funnel. The 212 did not come yeah. with that. It's all clean. That's not gonna last long. Yeah, that's not gonna I was gonna say. Especially with this thing. <laughs> Doing one wheel burnouts. Look at that. Wow, oh, this is very nice. It's beefier. The main difference between a 224 and a 212 is obviously the 12 cc. There's 0.1 extra horsepower. From what I've heard, it's just a little bit more torque off the line. Well now, Kaysen. I think that goes here. Yeah. I think we fire it up and it goes there. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Send her back. <laughs> We're bringing it back to the store. It doesn't start. Jeez, uh. what was what that? The heck? All right, this time it's gonna start. First pull, wow. Look at that. Rev it a little bit, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. How's it look? <laughs> oh man, that's different. That's a big difference. I like the red. All right, get in there. Oh man. 
<laughs> it felt so much stronger. Like you can really feel the torque of the new engine. Okay, now we got the Murray in the neighborhood. We're gonna be taking it on a little drive just to kind of get used to the engine, get a feel for what it's like. We will do some performance runs when we get the new clutch on. Okay, keep her. That thing is loud. Oh, and it backfires too. Okay, we did not take the low oil sensor off yet. <laughs> oh great, Kyson's gonna run it into the curb. Thank you. Um, we can unplug it temporarily. I, I guess. You wanna try it? Sure. All right. so good you know what i'm pretty happy with the 224 right now it, it sounds different for everybody thinking that like oh the 212 is gonna and 224 are gonna sound similar they're not they just have such different noises It's been about a week and a half since the last clip that you saw, and since then we've gotten all the parts that we've needed for the Murray, and now it's time to get them on. Unfortunately, Kyson wasn't able to join me for this part. He said he wasn't feeling well. Hey, Jake. I don't think I can go today. Oh, no. Oh, here it comes. Oh! All that aside, let's get all the parts on. All right, everything's on and ready to go. One little thing that we ran into, we got the new clutch on, new chain, and new sprocket, but we were not able to get the right size brake band. I have it ordered now. For this video, it will not be on. All right, so it's the next weekend. We have all the new parts on the Murray, and it's time to do some performance runs. Whoa! Oh! Kyson. Oh! <laughs> Kyson, are you okay? I'll fix it later. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Man, our view is starting to get obstructed. All these houses coming in, we're gonna lose our spot soon. Six seconds. That's really good. AJ's lap with hammerhead are around this. So a stock 224 is about the same as a stage one Hemi 212. All right, here we go. Second lap. 34 seconds. Oh. Oh, I see smoke. All right, that was sweet. All right, Kyson, how'd I do? You ready? Your first lap, 36 seconds. I think that's good, right? That's, right? That's really, that's very similar to your times on Hammerhead. So that was the, that was the start lap, right? Yes, your okay. flying lap, 34 seconds. Oh, that's good. Let me get another flying lap in, and then I'll let you take a turn. Here it comes. Starting. Backfires perfectly. Oh, right to the puddle. I think he's going faster. It just feels faster to me. I think he's really doing this. He's getting better at turning really well. Around the last corner. Oh, he is flying. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. 31 seconds. I bet we can break 30 seconds on both the go-karts. We just need to practice more. I think we could do that. That was really good. I want to try now. 
Oh my gosh, dude. I thought I was over in the porta potty, but I was wrong. I am ready to hear my times, Kyson. What I get? I'll give you a hint. It's your best one yet. <laughs> 31 seconds. No way. <laughs> I bet we can break 30 on both go karts now. I think so too. The crazy part about driving these. There's puddles at every turn now, or at least just these yeah. two. <laughs> so I am turning the corner and I'm slowing down, but the second I step on it, I just slip a little bit <laughs> and you're like catching it on oh, edge. Oh man. Just like you guys know, we're gonna start right at the sign right here. All right, all right. Are you ready? I'm ready. On your mark. Dude, that thing just, it sounds so good. 3278. Right, You know, and I opted to not have this thing not go as fast. We can get sprockets that are smaller than 54 too. Thirty-two twenty-five. Wow, very, very impressive stuff right here. Honestly, I bet AJ did better than me, but that was decent. What do you think? I think you did better, but I still did decent. <laughs> what do you think of the new upgrades and stuff? It, it's awesome, dude. That clutch is so much smoother, and I love the new gear ratio. Okay, are you ready for your times? Yes. From a start, you had a 36.14. Nice, so about the same as you. Your second lap was a 32.78. No way. Your fastest lap was a 32.25. Oh, so you did do better than me at the last one, but yeah. I, wow. That's still great though. Yeah, dude. All right, I, I wanna know how fast this goes. Okay, so really quick, we're gonna test what how loud it is stock. It does seem to be a lot louder than air right <laughs> stock. Yeah. So let's, let's find out. I'm really curious. Averaging about 83. 83 on average. Top speed time. Let's do this. Buckling up first, of course. Safety somewhere around the top three. All right. I'm gonna guess he's gonna wait until he's on that road to do the actual top speed run. Quick burnout, gotta warm up the tires, you know. Oh yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Let's see it. Yeah, so I think you'll definitely be able to get to um, top speed when he's going from that turn all the way to that turn. Honestly, I think it's a little bit faster than Hammerhead with the new gear ratio, except it accelerates a little bit slower than Hammerhead. Should I go through the grass? I don't know what he's doing. Editing AJ. Should I go through the grass? I'm gonna go through the grass. Man. I don't know what else I can do. I mean, that's...
probably gonna be at the top speed right there. It looked pretty fast. Hopefully it's faster. If not the same, faster than Hammerhead. We, I can say it feels faster all I want. It looks, I, I was saying, it's, it. if it's not the same, it's fa it looks faster than Hammerhead. Where are we at? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> what is it? 36.3 miles an hour. Dude! With your app, using the same app, this, the Murray, is a tiny bit faster than Hammerhead. Yeah, this is a force to be reckoned with right here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching part one of restoring the Murray. This was so much fun to make. We got a ton more things planned for this go-kart, so if you want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Oh yeah, tune in this summer. We got some great plans coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!